Yeah, what up, my beautiful fans? I go by the name Humble Smith, aka Showboy, aka the Big Smith. You already know. I just dropped a new song, Dance. It's a great song. I want you all to go stream the song. It's on Boom Play right now. Go stream the song, Dance. No complain, just dance. Oh shit. Go dance, go dance, go do, go do, go shine. No go dance, go shine, go follow, go go dance. Let the party go. I can't wait, wait. I can't wait, wait. On today's episode of the Convo, we have Showboy, Big Smith. <laughs> Man, gee, yeah. Where's the humble now? <laughs> that was before. So yeah. now you are Big Smith. Yeah, call me the Big Smith. The Big Smith. Why? Yeah. What, uh, what led to the change of name? The change of name? Yeah. You used to call me Humble Smith before. Sure, Humble. Because I'm Humble, right? <laughs> yeah, the Humble is still there. Well, you can call me the big smith now because I'm big now. Okay. Very, very big now. So what led to the name Humble Smith? That was years ago, you know, when I was still growing up. Um, While you are still humble. <laughs> <laughs> growing up, actually, I was extremely humble. humble. <laughs> you know? So, uh, it was like uh, the, 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 the foundation you could get, my family, you know, and, and everything. So everywhere we go, people just, they feel like, man, this boy is too humble. You know, they would tell my mom, ah, you're picking, you're too humble. Ah, ah, speak, ah, ah, you know? So, as I was growing, yeah. all, those, all those compliments started getting to my head. Humble, 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 humble. <laughs> and I'm like, what am I going to do with this humble of a thing? Yeah. Again, so, when I was trying to give myself a name, and I said, okay, let me go by the name Humble Smart. Hum Humble, humble smart. smart. Before you change to Smith. It's a journey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so someday, one day like that, I was I was called for a show. So I got to the to the venue, then submitted my name for the MC to introduce me. Then when it got to the time for me to come perform, the MC now changed the whole story. You ladies and gentlemen, I want to make welcome my brother. He's dope, he's this, he's that. He blah, 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 blah. Make welcome Humble Smith. Maybe it was high. <laughs> Brother, I was, I was like, let's see the app. <laughs> I said, okay, but funny enough, you, sound, you sounded more better, you know? Nah, sounded smart. better than smart. So, after the show, I twisted the whole thing to Humble Smith. So, what's your real name? My real names are Ijemba Ekenedri Chuku Humble Smith, a.k.a. Showboy, a.k.a. AKA, AKA Big Smith. Smith. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> your first album, yeah. Osinachi. Okay. We heard some high life tunes there. Um, what influenced was it growing up in the east that made uh, you inclined with high life music? Yeah. What made you um, in love with high life music? Let me put it that way. Okay, just like you say, you can't give what you don't have, you know. So growing up, I was listening um, to Brachi Mezier. Brachi so these, these are these are the sounds that was around me then. Still. So you influenced me a lot. So. So I love high life so much. I understand high life to a to a level, you know. So that's it. That's that's why in all my songs, definitely we hear the feel of high feel life. Of high life no? So who who will you describe as your um, major inspiration? Is it now or before? Before in the high life genre, who like who inspired you the most? It, it, that's bright chimney. Bright chimney. Yeah, bright chimney. So I even I, I had to I had to give him. Um, Respect, you know. There's one of my songs, Ch Change. Yeah, one of my Change. songs, Change. I, like I did, the song to him. Okay. Yeah, you get so. He's a great what, man. What was the song about? Yeah, um, it's about life. Generally, see the change I've been waiting for. Yeah, my my sailor of yesterday, mama. Okay, when you talk yeah. about change, most of your fans, the time you released that song, maybe yeah. they thought it was a campaign song for no, 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 no. for a political party or something. No, 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 never, never, never. It's a change in my life, in your life, in everyone's life. So, like, see the change I've been waiting for, I've been looking for. More more seller I used to know before, look at what it is now, you know, so it's God. So your first album, Osinachi, you worked with <coughs> Davido, Tiwa Savage, Savage Fino, King, Fino Flavor, Root Boy, Boy Olamide, um, uh, I think that's all. Sharif was some art, okay. some art from Umar Sharif. Umar Sharif yeah. So what was the feel like having all these big names on your debut project? It was, Osnachi album was 
words and still a great album till tomorrow. Jiggy, it is a great album. I know that some people they don't have idea of it, you know. Then you really need to go and feel it. But um, the truth is this: we tried our best then to make sure that we cut across, you know. But the Yorubas, the Igbo, the, the Niger Delta, the Aosas, you know, in one album. So we complete so Niger voice. voice. <laughs> <laughs> That's the idea. So yeah. So you know we can't um, talk about humble Smith without that your hit track Osinachi. Wow, you can't. It's not possible. It's so, not possible. How was the creative process? Like what what inspired that song? Yeah, Osinachi. You know Osinachi. Um Osinachi is a testimony song. It's a blessing song. You know, it's a gift from God. And that's the meaning. Osinachi means from God. It's a gift from God. So at some point in my life then I was I, I almost gave up already. For music that was in 2014, you get so. Yeah. So those snatch, I wrote those snatch in a church. I went to church that day to beg for money. Oh. Yeah, I'm already done with music. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, don't do it again. <laughs> I don't move on. I'm tired. What did they have? I don't got too much. So I went to church to to beg for money to eat. You know, and God was like, He gave you inspiration. Song. Don't worry. I like the hunger in you. <laughs> and he gave me the song, trust me. So that's how Snatchy, you know, popped out. And you, I give God all the glory, man. Thank you, God. You, know. you did a remix with David though. How how did that happen? That's still good. Everything about Osinachi, bro. I if if I start explaining now, till next ten years, I cannot explain. I don't finish explain and finish. Everything about Osinachi is gold. God is just showing me his goodness in different ways, you know. Who's not you? David who called for the remix. Yeah. I was shocked, you know. I, oh my God. Hey, Chineke. <laughs> <laughs> you never expected yeah, I never expected it. <laughs> <laughs> I was even sleeping, you know. Some guys were calling me, Humble, go online. OBO is tweeting you. And by then, you are not Big Smith. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the big was inside. <laughs> the, Yet to be delivered, <laughs> you know. So I, w I went online, I saw the tweet, you know, and I retweeted. OBO, you know, he sent me a DM. How are you, brother? You know, we exchanged numbers, called me. It was, it was, it was, it was not around then, it was eight years, I think. So we came yeah. back, we recorded the song. Even after recording the song, it's not out here, the song just. You see, it's God. So, one, one joke with God. <laughs> so back then, you were signed on to Entice. Yeah. So who are you with right now? Um, just my family. Yeah. Okay. What's the name of your family? Show Baba Music. Show Baba. Show Baba Music. Okay. So yeah. how how has the journey been like transitioning from being signed to okay. being an independent act? Um, it's a process. It's a journey. I'm learning. Okay, sure. You go through it. You grow through it. So what? Yeah. yeah. What so kind of? God, okay. <laughs> Sorry for breaking. Okay. So what kind of challenges do you face right now? Man, any challenge that is meant for a guy like me to face, we are facing it. We are not scared <laughs> of any challenge, you know. The challenge will come, we will pass it. So that's it. So the thing is that we are just, we are family. We love what we are doing, you know, and we love ourselves. And we have the same, we share the same vision, you know, the same dream. So there's a place we are going. Very far. Very, very far. That you don't have a spiritual eye, you cannot even see. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's where we are going. So we love ourselves, and I, I want to say a big shout out to my my team. You know. So your your shirt, it, um, it looks customized. Dance? Can you dance? I can't dance. You can't dance. But you teach me. <laughs> no, you cannot <laughs> dance. <laughs> you teach me. You to learn, so what's you dance about? Dance. Okay, yeah, yeah. What I'm putting on dance, dance. It's a new song by Humble Smith. A new sound, a new tune by, by Big Smith. New direction. Big Smith. By the Big Smith, yeah, you know, first thing he said, <laughs> by Humble Smith, for them to know. Then, the Humble Smith he used to know is no longer Humble. He's now, now the Big Smith, hello. <laughs> so that's it. So it's a new tune. I want you all to go online, go stream the song. It's on Boom Play. Go stream the song, keep streaming. All my fans, I love you guys. I want the song to top all the songs. So what dance, what um, genre, or should I say style of music is dance? Um, Afro Bongo, that's my new song. What's Afro Bongo? 
Okay, Afro bongo is a combination of all genres of music. Do you get, you know, Ambu's is a versatile artist. I can do raga, I can do high life, I can do this, I can do that. So bringing all this, all this vibe in one sound, it's called Afro bongo. So when you talk about all genres of music, that's a very vast um, kind of music. But you, you know, as you're talking about all genres, there will be yeah. one outstanding yeah. genre of music that is infused in that Afro bongo. Yeah. So what's that sound? Like, what's that genre that supersedes other sounds in the Afro bongo? In Afro bongo, like is it, is it this new song I just dropped? Yes. What's that the major I, sound? If you listen yes. to the song, you get the feel of high life. You okay. get the feel of I'm a piano. You get you get the feel of um, you just Afro. Do you get me? So just listen to the song, it has everything in it. So I get my inspiration from different angles. Okay. So whichever way I'm being positioned with it, and I, I put it in, that's it. So what was the creative process like? What inspired dance? Yeah, it's, it's, it's family, you know. My team were together creating music. You know, last year, I wrote this song last year. Okay. Yeah, it was last year, you know. Last year, um, we were listening to Ama Piano. My piano vibe was it was trending. We were listening to my piano, and I recorded a lot of songs because I was actually working on a working on a, an album. Do you get so when we plan, okay, we need to do something about this my piano thing. So not forgetting that this guy is the king of Afro bongo. We need to bring this my piano into okay. Afro bongo. You know, so it's welcome. So welcome the my piano and who created this vibe. You know? Okay, yeah. So. so for those who haven't heard this song, can you yeah. give like a 30 seconds feel of that song for us? Okay, yeah, it's a very easy song. You can sing along, you can dance along. I go dance, I go judge, I go joke, I go shock, I no go die, I go shine, I go bulungo, I go ja. So we go dance, we go judge, <laughs> we go joke, <laughs> we go shock, we no go die. We go shy, we go pull go, we go just say, Nechetakwa, I get wekwa, I get wekwe go, I get brikwa, okwa chinaka, or dinaka, or dino kwego, Mona Lisa. Nadiko Pano, they made a stream. They need to! They need to! Go stream the song, Dance by Humble Smith. I love you. So, guys. whenever you are putting out a new project, yeah. do you feel pressured to supersede the previous? previous um, jobs you have done? Yeah, if um, if you're looking to the angle of fans, you know, bombarding you back to back on social media, you know, this and that, then you put yourself under pressure. Yeah. So I would say... So you ignore the fans? At the time I was looking at all the charts, all the DMs, all the comments online, I was a little bit pressured, you know, like, you need to put out something, you know? but. I've grown to a certain level that now I do music because I love music. I'm not doing it for anybody anymore. Do you understand? So we do music now for the love of music. So and definitely when you start doing things for the love of it, people will follow it. I'm not doing it for anybody now. I do music because I love music now. Exactly. So that's it. Dance. So your last work was out in 2018. Yeah, yeah, 2018. Achieve, like the last album. Oh, last album, yeah, 2018. So when should we expect a new body of work from you? Mm. We follow the process. Okay. Yeah, we follow the process. The, the best way for you to know when the next thing is coming out is just make sure you're super updated with me. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on all my social media platforms, you know. I'll definitely go and give you a heads up before the next one comes out. But you are trying to be diplomatic here. Yeah? No, 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 I'm not. <laughs> Just let us know, is Dance the lead single of a new project? Yeah, latest thing in town, latest thing in Nigeria, latest thing in Africa, latest thing in the whole world now. Is sure. Dance, my own Smith, the Big Smith. You big don't know. Smith. When I don't know, <laughs> you see the call. You know, so I, I give God all the glory for everything. So if you are to change one thing in the Nigerian music industry, what would that be? If I'm to change one thing in the Nigerian industry, yeah. what would that be is, <clears throat> I would change the fact that people need to love you for you doing good music. People just need to love you for you've got a good music, not because you're Smith whiskey, you're Davido, you're 
humble smith or your whatever. They need to love you because you're doing good music. If you have a good music out there, let it be streamed. Let the whole world stream your song. It doesn't mean if you're an upcoming artist or whatever. If I can change that mindset to be nice. You know, people just, most people just follow name. It's obvious, people follow name. And people follow money as well in our Nigeria industry. You know? Not just Nigeria, generally. Not just the industry, it's a general process. So, but so if I can change anything, I would love to change the fact that mindset of following name, following not money. So let's follow good work. Okay. So so that all the upcoming artists can be benefiting, you know. Because you, 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 now a lot of upcoming artists are just so, you know, depressed, you know, encouraged. That they don't have. There's nobody's encouraging them. You understand. So they feel like, man. When is this going to happen? And they have great songs. Nobody is there to listen to them. We are following names. So that's it. So that's the only thing I would love to change first. Then I will think about the next thing I will change. I will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so 2020 was a really tough time in the entertainment yeah. industry due right. to the pandemic. Yeah. So how did you scale through that period? Um, I know we like you was tough, you know. But just like I said, any bridge where we enter, we oh, go cross and <laughs> go. So that was it, you know. And it was one way or the other, it was a bad time and as well a good time for me. So there's an advantage, there's a disadvantage. You get, I gained and I disgained. <laughs> <laughs> so I just thank God for the whole thing. I learned a lot from this pandemic thing, you know. It, the pandemic blessed a whole lot of people. The pandemic also made a whole lot of people lose, which you get. So this but song that we're enjoying now was recorded during the pandemic, you know? So it's still Even the body of inspiration. work that I'm going to be bringing out soon. You just admitted. You know, <laughs> was also recorded during the pandemic. pandemic. So the pandemic opened a lot of people, opened our eyes generally to different things we've been, you know, looking down on. You get so. So yeah, there are young acts now that would be like, ah, I want to be like Humble Smith. I want to reach the number of fans he has reached. I want to pass a message the way he's passing. Mm -hmm. So what and um, what advice do you have for these people? Okay, um, I will only give a few advice now because of things that I've learned, you know, recently. Always settle down always plan you get don't put yourself under pressure chill and plan if you want to be like homo smith you want to have the whole world trust me there is nothing you cannot achieve in this life as long as god is concerned you get so what you need to do believe in god trust in god have faith you know work hard that's all Working hard is not just working hard, work smart as well. Okay. So working smart is you taking your time and planning. Mm -hmm. When you plan, trust me, you will get it right. But if you don't plan, then you plan to fail. Okay. So that's it. So don't rush. That's the news. Don't so, rush. Take it step by step. Just like a good big, dance. Big a good <laughs> So, so this is detention. Let's play a game. It's called Game Whoa. of the First. Game of the First. Yeah. Hey, as Game of the First person to. No, not Game of like the first time we did the particular hey. stuff and going to. Voila, voila, Jelly, I want this. Hello. <laughs> so, <coughs> the first song you recorded. Now you. What year? Hey! <laughs> 2011. <laughs> Who produced it? Joe P. Okay. Thank you. First performance. Uh, first performance was um, Ego's Life. Okay. Okay. Um, first music video. You appeared on. It might not necessarily okay. be. Okay. First music Marco. By who? Marco video by DG All Stars, you know. Okay. You know, you know, I was, I was one, I was, I was signed to um, a record label in Asaba back then, DJ Record. So we were like ten of us. 
So that's DJ All Stars. We are bad, we are bad, bad singers around. First rappers. record label. DJ Records. First girlfriend. Wow. First girlfriend. Jumina. <laughs> Jumina. <laughs> <laughs> what year was that? <laughs> <laughs> My brother, this is crazy, man. I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. Damn, first kiss. Damn, first kiss. Um, when did you have the first kiss? First kiss, first kiss, first kiss. Is it the year? Or I when? don't know, you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> first kiss. Ah, first kiss. Okay, oh, you. Where? Okay, oh, where? who was the person? Hmm? You tell us the person and no. you tell us the year. It's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's a girl. It's a she. <laughs> Why do you want to know her name? A she girl. <laughs> it's a she. It's a she. <laughs> okay, what's here? Um, that's. Can't remember. Can't remember long ago. You don't taste since you're small. No, you don't taste since I did. First girlfriend. First girlfriend. First girlfriend. First girlfriend. First girlfriend. Sandra. Okay. Say my mission name. <laughs> okay, first car. First girlfriend, a fine girl. <laughs> my first car, my first car, by Pajero. Okay, what year? 2017. Three words to describe yourself first. What? Three words to describe Big Smith. Three words to describe Big Smith. Courageous. Big. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Courageous. Big. And smart. You don't change that. <laughs> I am very courageous. I am big. Uh -huh. I am smart. <laughs> Do you get it? <laughs> uh, so, I am big. I feel no nyash. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I will see you tonight. Thank you, brother.